it's all political. It's all, I've never seen a film, in fact, that is not political. I mean, even the most, you know, stupid Hollywood film is political. And then sometimes as a Palestinian filmmaker, people encourage you, they say, well, when are you going to not make political films? Well, I'm not making political films. I'm just making films about our life. It's my most dialogue heavy film. It's all, you know, it's about this father and son and their, their relationship with each other. And there's all this talking, but what's important is what they don't say to each other, what they've never said to each other and they need to say to each other. And, and then it's about the public and the private. Who are they when they're in this the car together? So, I, you know, I like this idea of having them unable to go anywhere else you know, sometimes people can avoid each other, and especially like a father and son, like men can tend to avoid each other and not, not say the things, not, not speak, actually. But you're in a car with someone, you have to speak. And then like the public life, who are they in public? Who are they in their community, especially the father? Who is he as a school teacher, as a man whose wife left him? Um, you know, he, he carries a lot and he has a face in front of people. And so I like this, you know, the vehicle, not vehicle, there's the car, but the vehicle of them being alone together and then going from house to house and who are they in front of the community and what, what, who, who do you pretend you are and who do you, who you really are. Um, and it was, it was definitely, it was, it was uh, challenging for many reasons. Um, because all the time I was trying to remove also dialogue. Like it's about, you know, it's all about talking, but I, as much as possible, and like sometimes on set even, when I would hear the actors, I would, even as just a word, I would just take it away and, and try, trying to find the, the strength in the, in the silent moments, the power in that. In any independent country where there's not a, an, an established industry, there's independent cinema, and so there's this whole struggle of financing and of, you know trying to tell your story. And then on top of that, in Palestine, you have this added you know complication of everything needs to be permitted. You you have to get permission to travel. You have to get permission for your cast, permission for your crew from the Israeli authorities. It probably is rejected. It might not be. You never really know. It's really hard to plan something because you really, really never know. And so many things are based on the mood. You have an actor maybe coming from abroad. He might not be allowed in. He might be allowed in. And there's very little you can do about that. So it's like it's like a gamble. Actually, everything sort of feels like a gamble and it's hard to, to plan. And so I think there's this, you have to have this kind of spirit of, well, Whatever happens, happens like we just, you deal with it as, as, as it comes. Because if you try to think, you know, you will be, end up overthinking things and, and you get stuck as an artist. So it's like, let's, let's plan like everything as we want. And then when all that stuff hits you, you have to f find your way around, <laughs> around it. Yeah. The role of cinema, like the role of cinema everywhere is that we have to insist to tell our stories and to insist on our humanity. I mean, as, as filmmakers, that, that's, that's what we do. That's what I do. I mean, I'm, I'm interested in, my films are political, but I, but I always say what I'm interested in is, is, the, is human relationships and we live in a political world and there's no doubt about that. And with this recent ridiculous declaration of, of Trump, um, it's an affront. It's a fr an affront to anybody who cares about freedom and justice in the world anybody and and in some ways I'm trying to also find the positive thing about it because the US has never been unbiased in terms of the Palestinian Israeli conflict and I always say if if the Americans were never involved at all we would have found Israelis and Palestinians would have found a solution a long long time ago and the Americans have continued to botch that up and so the good thing about this Trump declaration is that at least it's out in the open now because it's something that as Palestinians we've always known the US, the US has never been unbiased and now it's just it's really just out in the open now but nothing has really changed in some ways. It just feels like every few years we are the spotlight of the news and I don't know if it really makes a difference because it always feels like there's more forces to sort of erase Palestinian voices and silence Palestinian voices. Um, and at the same time, like, say you look at the, the Oscar, the Oscars, for example, I mean, in, on one level, who cares about the Oscars? On the, on the other level, it's in the last decade only that Palestinian cinema is now present on that international stage. Like, we are submitting films, Elise Lehman, Hanya Vassad, like, there's now been a voice that 
perhaps has not, you know, has definitely not been heard on the mainstream, you know, and now maybe people have more access to those to those films and those stories. Mm -hmm.